Hey guys, it's Brittany and I'm back with another video. Today I will be showing you how I sleek, smooth, fleek, lay, tame my natural edges. And with this technique, it lasts all day and I don't even tie my hair down with a scarf. So make sure you watch and see how I got this look. So guys, as you can see, I have a puff up and I will, you know, eventually link the video because these are two separate videos, but it's the same day. And I'm going to be showing you how I lay my edges and the things I need is water. I use this Miel Organics um, Edge Gel and I use Wetline Gel. So what I like to do is just, I'm gonna spray my hand and just rub my edges because I want them like pliable so that they can be moving the way I want them to move. And then I'm gonna go in with the wet line gel, just a little bit, rub it on my fingertips and just kinda, you know, disperse that um, on my edges. And this is a super old wash and go, like I've been wearing this for a week. I don't think it's a wash and go no more. I just think it's a straight afro. But, and then I'm gonna take some of this Mia Organics Edge Gel and I'm going to lay, put it on my edges, literally just the edge because I'll apply more as needed. And you gonna see me work this magic. Okay, so I always like to start right here because that's your recession hair part that's your recession area of your hairline everybody has a part that probably goes deeper usually i shouldn't say everybody i'm sure it's somebody who doesn't but most people have a place like where it kind of recedes back just a little bit and that's mine and so that's my main pl place i'm focusing on because once i swoop that up it makes my forehead look a little smaller so i use a comb a rat tail comb so a fine tooth comb because I like it better than a brush because I got I have more control over the hair and like with a brush like it's just too big and I mean the little um, edge brushes they're a little too soft for me I mean this is sturdy it's gonna pull the hair where I need it to go and literally this is a 24 hour edge lay like it's gonna be here for 24 hours these edges is gonna be laid all day so as you can see what I'm doing is I'm combing it down and I'm putting my finger down where I want it to kind of swoop out and do that and if you don't feel like you have enough edge control on there apply some more because we want this laid all day and then so I'm gonna take this I really like working on the very edge I'm not going into my hair a lot because I really don't have baby hairs. So I'm just laying my edges basically. I ain't gonna lie, like, I feel like this makes my puff. This makes it. Because. If it's not laid, then it just look like I just did something to my hair. So I'm taking it and I'm taking it to the side that I want it to kind of swoop to. And I'm just curving it up. Like so guys, these edges are about to be super duper laid. Okay. When I say my legs, I, I mean, I just recently, I'm, I'm resting my arm on my head, so it's putting a dent in my puff, but I'm going to fluff it back out afterwards. But when I say, I just really start like just laying my edges like the way that I'm laying them now. But when I do lay them, they be laid all day all day so now I'm about to work on the other side like I like to have one side going more so to the way it's going to I don't like it like down the middle so I'm just gonna swoop a little bit of this 
shine like a sunrise. The way she moves, make a man cry. I'm feeling her, feeling her so. I'm wanting, I'm wanting, I'm wanting her more. Let me know. Get some little pieces that want to stick up. Lay them back down. And no ma'am, you will not be. And so on this part of my head where the recession is, I kind of like to make that look like baby hairs. So I, I just take a little bit of hair. I think my babe, my hair being laid is more important than my eyebrows. Really, for real. So as you can see, right here is not a lot of hair, but I want it like that. So, cause everything about my edges is strategic. So don't think it's a game. If that piece is right there, it's right there for a reason. You don't know. And so I'm just going to make sure I swoop the rest. My nose always runs like when I put my makeup on, my eye was watering so bad. I was like, oh my goodness, would it stop? It's gonna mess up my makeup. But guys, look at the slime. Look at it. Just look at it. Just look at it in amazement. And this my I do not have like obviously you obviously you can look at my puff and tell I don't have like no wavy hair. This is some regular black girl hair. But yes guys, these are my edges. They are laid. And yes, they popping. I mean I know my edges are laid. Like nobody can tell me my edges aren't. Hey, somebody gonna get on here and probably try to say some craziness because they're stupid. But that's just because they're stupid. But like when I do that to my edges, I just feel like, like my hair is smashed. Like you just know like when your eyebrows on fleek, like my edges are smashed. They are laid, they shiny. They look like, I don't know how to put it, but they just look so shiny and so cute. But. And for the record guys, I do not tie my edges down no more. Like using the method that I do, I don't tie a scarf around my edges. They're going to stay like this. Trust me. Trust me. Trust your girl because this is popping. I'm thinking about getting some eyelash extensions because I don't know how to apply eyelashes and I feel like my makeup will be so much better if I had some. So at least I don't want no crazy eyelashes, but I want something like Right now, I ain't working with nothing. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you share with a fan friend. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you comment if you have any questions. And make sure you are subscribed and watch those videos at the end i'm sure they'll help you as well so bye guys have a good day